Here with senior guard Keisha Lee on the eve of senior night. Northwestern State hosts Stephen F. Austin at 5.30 on Thursday. Keisha, uh, you've been here five years. You redshirted your first year. You've played the last four. How surreal is it to think you've got one game left here for Fraser? <laughs> it's unreal to know that I have one more game left. I really, I knew this day would come, but I didn't think it would come so fast and so soon. But I'm, I'm glad I got to play here. Glad I got that opportunity that many didn't get. But it, it was great playing here. It's been, a, it's been quite a journey. You and, and Janelle starting for three years together. You found your role this year off the bench. What's the journey been like for you from red shirting with Coach Graff to playing these first four years with Coach Ford and Coach Scott? Well, that first year of red shirting was a great experience, just sitting on the bench learning the whole time. And then that next year I got to finally play. It was just a great experience coming in with new coaches, new different type of offense and everything. I really liked it. And then that first year was real tough for us, but Coach Brooklyn just wanted us to trust him and stick with what they what they had and what they was going to bring in, and we ended up winning. How much do you think you've grown as a player and a person uh, with the stores here? I think I, I think I've really grown a lot as a player because probably about two years ago, I probably would have been pouting or something coming off the bench. But this year, I'm just fine with whatever. I'm fine with coming off the bench, being that spark off the bench, and just helping my team get the wins. When you look back, so many memories accumulate over a career. What are some of your favorite ones that are going to stick out? You know, obviously, you graduated in December. That's a great accomplishment. But some of the on and off court things that you're going to probably remember most when you look back at your time here. Um, the, what I'm going to look back most is um, – my favorite has always been the road trips. I just love spending time with the team and just laughing. That's all we do is clown the whole time, laugh. So, yeah, probably the road trips would be the, the funnest. And, of course, well, I, I was so happy that I graduated in December because it was a great accomplishment. What about the trips to Katy? <laughs> oh, I, I, I love going to Katy. I just like the Merrill Center. It's, just, it's pretty, and I just love shooting on those goals for some reason. Well, the confetti falling down at the end doesn't hurt either. Oh, yeah, that, that's, that's pretty great, too. When you look back at, at the legacy you guys are going to leave, the first team in this program's history to go to back-to-back -back NCAA tournaments, what's that mean to you? It means a lot to be a part of that. That's, that's really something great to be a part of when you think about it. I didn't think about it then when we first won it, but now that I think about it, I really, I really was a part of something special. What do you think the legacy you're going to leave behind for this program is? Um feel like everybody going to know that I played hard and I just helped the team out with whatever I had to get the win. Any messages for those you're going to you're going to leave behind? <laughs> just when things get tough, just keep going no matter what. Right, thanks, Keisha.